This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Ike. Ah, I'm Jay Fidel. It's four o'clock. We're dealing with the first Lego League State Championship here on, what is it, Think Tech Talks? Okay, Think Tech Tech Talks hey. with Maria Tomei. Talk Tech and Think Tech. Now, her primary occupational identity these days, or at least one of her many <laughs> occupational identities these days, is the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum where she is the chair of the working group on transportation. Yes. And somehow transportation and the Lego League are connected. I might, in introducing her, I might also say that some people refer to her as the Lego lady. Others have awarded her uh -oh. <laughs> the Lego Head Mom of the Year Award. And we have her among us right now. Welcome to the show, Maria. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah. Where'd you get that from? Yeah. <laughs> so, Maria, we talk about news. We like news. Yeah. So, very recently, there was the first Lego League State Championship uh, where kids were challenged to think like scientists and engineers. We need to know what happened. It was recent. What, what went yeah, on? Yeah, last Saturday. You know, a couple of times we've come and we've talked about this Leo League coming up. We're going to have district tournaments, and then you have the top teams from district tournaments all come together in the state championship. That was last Saturday. We had it. It was fun. It was successful. It was awesome. We have a million pictures, but not enough time for a million. I'm only about six or seven. <laughs> Where was it? It was at the Blaisdell. Ah, wow. Yeah. That's crowded stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we had about a thousand people there wow. because these are teams of 10 students, and then yeah. they have two coaches, and they have a team scout, and they've got parents and mentors, and yeah. you've got judges, and you've got referees, and you know, you, you've got also the junior first Lego League. Kids were there, you know, a whole bunch of um, kids that are younger than nine. Six to nine is the junior first Lego League. They had all their exhibits set up. Then you had the first Lego League, 42 teams of up to 10 kids per team. It was great. It was noisy. They had the music blaring. They, they had the cheering and the, you know, times well, I going can, I off. I can oh, sense yeah. the enthusiasm now yeah, through yeah. you. <laughs> but you know what? Let's pull back from the cliff okay. for just one minute. Okay. What's a Lego? What? What's a Lego? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're a it started off. This, you know? Okay, so it started off. I think it was invented in the early 1900s or something. Started out Lego, I guess in um, Danish means let's play, oh. and they were little blocks. You know, and when you play with blocks, they fall apart, right? You make a stack and it falls over. So yeah, okay. he put little pegs on them, and they would stick together. And so now they're plastic blocks, okay. and we had them when we were kids, a little <laughs> right. plastic block. So that's. That's what people think of when they think of Lego. It's the iconic brick, right? Yeah, yeah. But you need wheels for your cars. Those are fun. Transportation working okay, group, right? Okay. So, yeah, so you've got wheels, you've got axles, you've got connectors and beams, and now you've got a little programmable robot control. It's called the brick. And you program it on your computer, and it has, has four motors that connect to it and three has sensors that connect to it. And so you can get this thing to move, and you can build attachments. You build the body, you build the attachments, and it can go do stuff. So that Lego yeah. is more than just bricks. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot to mention, <clears throat> uh, uh, apologies, uh, Maria is an engineer. Can you tell? Can anybody tell? <laughs> if you can tell, raise your hand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's, that, that's, you know, that's what the Legos are. And... When you build these um, robots, these little robots to do these missions, then you can have a competition. Yeah. You can have a bunch of kids get together and, and do this stuff, make the robot do stuff, do things. <laughs> but what are you teaching them? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> so every year there's a topic. In engineering, it gets even more engineering-ish well, than sure. that. We there's a topic that. every year. This year was water. So civil engineering, water and wastewater. How do we find, how do we distribute, how do we treat, dispose of water? And so not only do they have to learn how to build the robot and program the robot, they have to do a research project together and do a presentation. Five minutes presentation on the topic of not only how Hawaii does its water finding and delivery and processing, but how it could be improved. 
right? Ooh. They have to invent something. Wow. And it's not necessarily wow. a technology that they invent. They can improve a process. They can improve a law. That should appeal to, you know, it the does, folks who, who yeah, the Everything. policy, the policy, the whether it's a technology, ecosystem. a policy, or even an approach, you know, society, if we all did X, and sometimes the kids actually institute changes in their schools. Some of the teams actually design things that have commercial application, and they get patents eventually. So wow. this is not just a Hawaii thing. It's not just U.S., International. it's international. Oh, international. Yes. Wow. yes. Wow. So the international competition is going to be in Texas, okay. April 2018. Okay. So Hawaii will send one team okay. to so, that. So yes. if I, going back, so how do I get involved if I'm a kid in school? Is this, uh, is this de rigueur? I mean, do I, do, I, do I have to sign up or is it optional? How do I sign up and it how really do I get into the team? It really depends because most of the teams are affiliated with schools. Very often it's an after-school program or part of the gifted and talented class or sometimes it's um, a, um, like a Boy Scout or Girl Scout troop or something like that. Or even um, the homeschool teams. Oh, really? Yeah. Charter Clubs. schools. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we had a couple okay. of charter schools on there, too. You know, so whoever it is who says, this is awesome, and actually gets permission with the school or yeah. whoever, and you pull together the, the kids. And the team is from the school. In other words, one team yeah, you know, is, it is, can be, or can it be it's across not required. schools. See, there's no requirement. There are very few requirements yeah. as to how you, know, how you get your team members. Okay. So it can have kids from one school and you know, maybe even siblings or whatever. As long as they're within the age range, it's fine. Okay, so I, I sign so you up. Need a but you need a coach. You need two coaches. Okay, that's, yeah, that's what I was getting at. So yeah. I sign up, I go down, I'm in the team, I'm sitting around in a circle in the school somewhere or wherever. And um, so we begin, and now we begin. So what do I do as a kid member of the team? Well, the first thing is to understand that it's not just building with the Lego bricks. You know, so you get to see the robot. Some of them have actually played with this before, and they've got summer school classes on this. And so, you know, some are familiar. And then you go over the topic. Say, hey, guys, the topic this year is water. How does Hawaii? And so some of them go on field trips. Really? They watch videos of experts. They actually sometimes have experts come to the classroom or come to the after school wow, program or on weekends yeah. or whatever. And then um, they also have the core values which is a lot of teamwork. You're practicing right. how to Civility, communicate. All the good things. How to make decisions. You know, you may have a difference of opinion. Very often, we expect the kids to just look to the adult to make the decision. Not this time. <laughs> no. <they're, laughs> the adult guides them in figuring out how they're going to make the decision, making the decision, and sticking to it. Who are the mentors? Are they, are they science teachers? Are they, they can be. Engineers, for example? Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you are know? they you? Um, I have been, especially when it was energy topic. Ah, of course, yeah. that would fit. Yeah. Now, you're not on the teams because your level of enthusiasm was not, uh, well, sort I of started, suggests you're a member of the team. <laughs> I started. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I started as um, a coach of a team. Well, first, I was actually asked to judge some energy stuff back at the energy year. Mm -hmm. And then I was, I was like, this is too cool. And I had a kid of the appropriate age who loved Legos. And we said, hey, let's get a team together at your school. And so we, we started a team there. You know, and so now through the years, I've had various roles. And this year, well, I was this isn't your first year, coordinating then. district oh, tournaments. No, this is no. many years already. Yeah, this is incorporated 10. in your whole life plan already, <laughs> isn't really it? interfering <laughs> with the housework. <laughs> That's terrific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Well, it resonates, I think. Not just playing with Legos, which, you know, you're playful at times, but also the whole. Um, idea of it's not just what you do. It's not getting the right answer or building the thing efficiently or getting it to work. It's working with people and doing the right thing in the right way for the right reason. Uh, and even though it's a pain in the neck, I don't know if I can say that, but you know, you the project, okay, okay, so the project is kind of a pain in the neck sometimes when you want to be working on the robot, but that's where the kids are imagining and realizing that they're part of the solution. You know, they're learning about real stuff, and they are actually imagining how it could be improved. And in some cases, they are working with the experts and having, you know, that feedback from yeah. folks in the community. Yeah. And so they're imagining themselves as not only engineers, but project managers, 
fundraisers. I mean, you got to raise funds for yeah, you yeah, know the kit yeah. or the travel yeah. or you know sometimes the T-shirts or the snacks. <laughs> There's a certain <laughs> need for snacks. So you know they all have different roles and they're learning to appreciate that it takes a team working together to be successful. Yeah. And so I, I really yeah, enjoy yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's also about confidence because I firmly believe that kids don't necessarily come into the room confident. And if you give them an environment where they can, you know, be, appreciate themselves and their own ability yeah. to collaborate, to create, and all that, then they become confident. Once they become confident, well, then the world is their oyster. Yeah. Then they can venture forward and, you know, win. Right. Not only in contests like this, but in life in general. Yeah. So let's look at some of the confidence on their faces. Oh, we got okay. some pictures. Okay, and so I'd like you to I, show some pictures. Okay, well, we had a really limited amount of time and space for pictures, so I got one of the junior first Lego leaguers. Okay, it's colorful. All Just, right, um, let's see that. Yeah, one. so as you can see, they they build something, and they have this. You can see the poster board in the back. Um, where they talk about what they learned and what they built and their team and how they do their teamwork. And <laughs> Look at it's how open completely to, focused she yeah, is. And it's open to the public um, to see these exhibits. And so the junior first Lego League exhibits were up in the morning. Uh -huh, you know? uh -huh. And so that was, um, so this is one of our junior first Lego Leaguer. Okay. And then later, um, the first, meanwhile, the older kids, these are the older kids, these are 9 through 14 years old. And they, in the morning, had been in judging rooms, talking about their projects. And that's not open to the public because it's, you know, a couple of judges and the team sure. members. And the stuff. essential members. But then after that is over, we, we brought everybody together. And this is one of the few shots we have because they tend to move around a lot, you know, doing all their different activities. So this was one at the end waiting for the assembly. And you can kind of I see. I noticed that, that some yes. of them have red and blue and green. 42 Are those teams. the team shirts? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we also had um, some games set up. We actually had the Lego users group come, and there, there's a table, and we didn't have room for that picture, but there's a table where they show the stuff that the um, Lego users group builds, and they, they had fun with that. And there's also these, a large chessboard, and there's a tic-tac-toe game. And so um, it fills in some of the gaps between the activities for the kids, and it's, it's a good opportunity for them to be playing together and mm -hmm. a, while they're waiting for the results and, and whatnot. And this is a shot of the couple of team members putting their robot in the base. So when you have the competition that's open to the public, okay, you schedule each team and they bring their robot. Two team members are allowed at the table. The table is four feet by eight feet long, but you can only touch the robot in that corner that's called base. And so you see those two um, what kids What happens positioning. to the other, what, eight kids? Uh, They're in the about? back cheering. Or okay. yeah, yeah, or watching very they intently. They contributed to this effort, though. Oh, definitely. This is their project as definitely. much as it is the these two projects. Yeah. and there are three rounds. So you know they'll go and for two and a half minutes the robot will do its get its points, and then we'll rotate through all the teams, and then they'll come back and on mm -hmm. a different table and whatnot they will have another chance. And so two different team members sometimes might come up. It depends how the team decides. Once again, deciding now this who's view of these it. kids right here. Yeah. Okay. Is this the moment where somebody is judging them? No, is, no. Is, is no this, judge is standing by. This is the robot gets the points it gets. It's all modular. We have referees it's, it's, for it's this all part. a matrix then yeah. of rating points on this characteristic or that. Sort of. So at this part, they have we have referees, and there's a list of missions and how many points each one is worth. So who determines and the number? So of the points? robot. Well, that's all determined ahead of time. That's the same for everybody. Mm -hmm. So the missions are all the same. The models on the board are all the same. The list of points per mission. So it's easy to judge, very objective judging. Yeah. Right so, so you have your referees watching what the robot does. In some of the missions, it's like you have to put the water. I brought the flower last time and put the water and the flower in it. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you have to see that the, you know, it was placed there and the, you know, so you, some of it you watch to make sure that the actual action happened. Mm -hmm. If the robot gets stuck or um, confused, <laughs> needs to be rescued. <laughs> Robots um, get confused it is, too. Yeah. Yes, it is possible for the team member to actually pick it up and bring it back to base, but that's they, they get a little penalty, a couple minus ah, a couple points yeah. for that. And so the refs are watching all this, and and after the two two and a half minutes, which seems really long when you're you know in yeah. a competition environment, yeah, yeah, yeah. the um, they'll score what's on the board. 
you know, what got done, what didn't get done. You know, was the broken pipe moved? Was the new sure. pipe put in its place? Reach, yeah. yeah. Did you put the sludge in by the flower, <laughs> by the flower beds? Did you, oh, ex ex um, extinguish the fire? There's a house that was on fire. And, well, not literally. It just yeah, okay. yeah. conceptual so. house. Exactly. You know, you get points for that. You know, you, there's a little lever on the fire hydrant that if the robot pushes it, you get the points for that. You know, you may you may wonder what we're talking about. We talk about the flower, yeah. uh, and that's we had another show on this a few weeks ago, and we talked about. In fact, we had the flower here. Yeah, we did. And we could see the flower mm, made and, out of Legos. Made out of Legos. Yeah, yeah, it was impressive. And if you want to watch that show, you can go on thinktechhawaii.com. Uh, or you can go on YouTube.com, Think Tech Hawaii, um, and you can look for Maria Tome's name and <laughs> Legos, and you'll probably find it right away. Yeah. So you can, you know, compare that show or add th this show to that show and see the continuum of these events at the uh, first Lego League State Championship. We are going to take a short break, Maria. I know, okay. I know, we'd like to okay. go, folks. But we, and when we come back, I talk about That's what happens to the winners. Well, okay. yeah, and we can show some pictures. You can show some more pictures. Yeah. We'll be right back. You'll Thank see, you. I promise. She promises too, yeah. Just doesn't feel the same. Number one on the list is who's gonna drive. It's nice to know you're gonna get home alive. Plan for fun and responsibility. Choose a DT. Captain of our team is the DT. For every game day, assign a designated driver. I'm going to the game and it's gonna be great. Early arriving for a little tailgate. I usually drink but won't be drinking today cause I'm the designated driver and that's okay. It's nice to be the guy that keeps his friends in line. Keeps him from drinking too much so he can have a great time. A little responsibility can go a long way cause it's all about having fun on game day. I'm the guy you wanna be. I'm the guy saving money. I'm the guy with the H2O and I'm the guy that says let's go. Hike. Yeah, we're back. We're live with Maria Tomei, and she is the lady, uh, Lego lady, and the winner of the. Wait. Oh, we're going to see the pictures. Lego oh. Head oh, Mom of the Year Award <laughs> by, by, by Grantors un, un, Undescribed, un, Unidentified. Okay, so yeah. first, uh, let's talk about some more photos, yeah? You want to yeah. do that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More photos. We're going to see these kids and how engaged and focused they are. And trying to figure out what's happening to them. Yeah. yeah. So this is another, you know, another sh um, shot of a team. Um, they are obviously very engaged. You ask, what about the other kids? Well, the two at the table are the ones running the robot and swapping out the attachments, and everybody behind is um, hoping and watching and either celebrating or not. Um, you know, every time. And you hear the cheers. Some, some things get huge cheers. And you can so, see the cheers yes. here. You can yeah. hear them even though it's just yeah. a photograph. <laughs> yeah. So, and there's, there's another picture of the next one. Um, yeah, that apparently went well, whatever it was that the robot <laughs> did. You know it. How do you know <laughs> yes. it went well? I'm thinking it did something. Yeah. That, um, <laughs> Boy, they excited. Point. Yeah. And we think that we have lots of shots of the teams cheering and excited or um, stressed and you know whatever focused very focused focused yes yeah, yeah. Um, I picked this one because these um, folks you are going to see again in another another picture um, <laughs> That's too much in a moment <laughs> so the next picture okay. so they actually won um, the champions award this was the that iconic alert squad at, yeah? yeah Sacred Hearts Academy and they were so excited because it's the last award. I mean, we have, we have a whole bunch of awards for projects and core values and inspiration and teamwork and gracious professionalism and research and innovative solution and presentation and robot programming and strategy, all this. So you can get an award for any one of and those characteristics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so what happens is the Champions Award team, uh, basically, they, they, don't, they don't hear their name. They, they don't come up for any of the other awards right and so they're probably a little bit like oh drag you know <laughs> and then at the <laughs> end of that champions award and there it is that's great oh yeah. wow Fabulous. yeah yeah and so there's a and so that's Look the trophy you can see, a the trophy <laughs> the trophy is um made of legos 
Yeah. 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 As appropriately. So Hawaiian Electric is one of the uh, sponsors. Yeah, program? they're the title sponsor. Well, good for them. Yeah. 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 And we. Very impressive. I, I I have to say that Very when you excite sure. kids that way, you can feel their brain cells moving. You can feel them learning, absorbing, yeah. and de developing the confidence. I mentioned this is so important to develop a a group of super kids. I always felt that Hawaii it was possible. Oh yeah. Not easy, but possible to develop our kids into super kids. You know, and this is. That's what I see yeah. in these photos, Maria. Yeah, and if you watch them go on to the national competitions and the other regional competitions, Hawaii kids, um, Hawaii teams, you know, you got to give the coaches credit, yeah, yeah, credit yeah. too, and the families, very supportive. Yeah. You know, the teachers, the principals, you know, the, sometimes the principals are down there with, with the teams. They should be. Yeah. They want that. Yeah. Want to right. So, yeah. what, how, how many people won? What kinds of, you know, characteristics were prevailed? Um, and where does it go after they win? What happens to them? Okay. Well, first they are, are very happy. <laughs> and they, sure. yeah. Parties yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And their schools, you know, they share it with their, their families oh, and their schools, right? Yeah. And so the, there are three teams um, from Hawaii that are going to go and represent Hawaii in other um, events. So the um, Team two, 6002 Iconic Alert Squad Sacred Hearts Academy will be going to Houston in wow. April 2018 and competing at that um, first championship, 2018 who, first who, championship. Who pays for the trip? You know, I don't know. Sorry. Probably sponsors, yeah. maybe. Yeah. But, but we may, at some future show, be able to go and talk to them and get all yeah, this we information. Get, yeah, we got to do that. What do they need to succeed there? Yeah. Can Hawaii help them? So what happens when they go to step? Houston? What happens? Well, the, um, they have, it's similar to the way they have it set up here. They have a project presentation. They're going to explain how they design their robot, the strategy they use, the mechanical design, the programming. And they're going to have teamwork activities where they can show how well they can work together and make their decisions and, as a team. They present and to judges yet yes, again. Yes. And it's not just the two of them. It's more than two of them. You know, the team of, say, 10, whatever it is. Yeah, well, the, I think this, this particular team, I think, has five members. Mm -hmm. And so they're, you know, it's the same team going to go up and present to the judges. But it's the same setup. It's a small group. I think mm -hmm. there are three, two or three judges. Mm -hmm. And they're competing and against other people in the country, yep. uh, far away yep. places and all and that. And then at the end of the, you know, and then they also have the robot competition, which is the same game board and the same, you know, they can update their robot design if they want. They can, you know, improve the programming and the consistency. And they've got a lot of time. April's, you know, yeah. a ways away. So yeah, they're, yeah. I'm sure they're going to continue what to be working on What do they do between it. now and April? Well, they work on their project. They work on their but robot. they already they, won. What do they, they need only, to do? To, oh, oh, yeah. Oh. That's the beauty of an open-ended quest like this. You yeah. can always get better. You always get better. Yeah. You, you refine. You refine you perfect, it. Exactly. You, refine again. you do research on your project and your uh, idea you and really you know, the reality. Really slick at Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, instead of a concept, it t becomes more real. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we can talk to them more about Although, we'll yeah, there is another competition. So maybe having it too public, not, you okay, know. Well, let's talk to a bunch in, of those in, kids. Yeah. Like it's sort of. Yeah, because we had the, yep. the roar of the grease paint and the smell of the crowd, <laughs> whatever it is, and find out what make what drives them. There you go. And where they are in the continuum of yep. their education yep. is really fabulous. And so that's so that's Houston. There's also Legoland in California in is May. Place by that name. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. You've never heard of Legoland? No, never have. Oh, dear. I've, I've been on the oh, planet dear. for a okay. few years now, but I've yeah. never heard of Legoland. Well, it's near Disneyland. They're in the California one is near Disneyland. They've got a Legoland in Denmark. Okay. <laughs> I think they have one somewhere else, too. <laughs> What's it like? Is it a city, a state, an <laughs> uh, amusement like park? What is it? It's like Disneyland, except just for, you know, it's really, okay. especially the California one, they've got rides, a lot of, you know, rides, and they have Lego. Um, used to build the, you know, you have a safari, you've got an elephant made out of Lego, you've got a moving dragon made out of Legos, right? It's very colorful, very I'm fun. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they go there and that's where, the, that's where the competition is, at least for this part of it. Yeah, I'm not sure what part of Legoland is devoted to this, um, yeah, yeah. or if it's something that's near Legoland, but it's in, in general vicinity. Are you going to go with them? I uh, know. No, no, I'm not on the team. I'm just, okay, you know, okay. we just do the work here. Do you have a skin in the game on this? You're, are you kids uh, involved? Not in anymore. Not anymore. You mean you do it as they a. This is like the, you know, the car there. where you turn off the ignition and it keeps on going? Sort of. Yeah, that's yeah. what. You, well, well, you know, you this really is got a resident, excited before the resonant you're frequency continue. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, really, I mean, your I level of enthusiasm is the, huge. Well, I haven't, there's a whole list of things I haven't done yet. I haven't perfected the Lego lace, you know? Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? So, anyway. What is that? You, may, you can make a yeah, lay, yeah, yeah, a yeah, lay yeah, out of exactly. Lego? Exactly. There are about six different ways you, know, you can make the lays out of the Legos, and I'm still yeah. working on that. Does it look like flowers? Yeah. And the third, okay, so the second, I didn't say what team. So that's a Punahou team going to the Legoland thing in May. Okay. And then the third but one. These are the winners now. Yeah, they've the been invited. Of, of Saturday. They've been invited to participate to good. represent Hawaii mm. at these events. They must be ecstatic. This just happened. Yeah, last Saturday. week Saturday. Okay, okay. And the, so the final one, first Lego League Razorback Invitational, May seventeenth to twentieth, twenty eighteen, is a team from Holomua Elementary School. Elementary school. Yeah. Too. Well, yeah. yeah. This is from fourth through eighth grade, generally. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we've got the elementary. Do you have an advantage if you're older? You know, I mean, do you have a handicap if you're younger? No, they're judged, you know, they're really judged on, like, the robot performance thing. I mean, if you've been building and programming robots for more years, maybe. But if you have an innovative design, you know, and if you do a project presentation and you work together well, you know, the younger ones can compete with the, old, the older ones, uh -huh. no problem. Yeah. So, so they go to these various, I mean, it sounds like there's not one single point of n national competition, but multiple points. Is that what it is? Well, those are invitationals. You know, those, yeah. um, oh, I see. So the Houston one is the official. That's the official national Lego. competition. Yeah, yeah. first okay, Lego Okay, suppose League. our kids go there yeah. and they win. What I happens? I don't know. Do they get anointed? Sure. Do they get? Oh, they I get, sh I'm sure they get Legos for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they Isn't do. that the yeah. ultimate? Yeah, the ultimate, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I ought to talk to my Just wife the guy about who didn't getting know about a Christmas Legoland. gift here. Yeah. So, but I mean, the winner is now. Now, you mentioned earlier. I remember this that it's not just national; it's international. Yeah, right. So, if they win in where, where was that's, it, Houston? Yep. The, they could conceivably go on to the next level. No, I think that's it. That's, that's it. the end of this that's year. It. See, because that's going to be April. Yeah. And the new challenge is going to be announced in the next August or September. So this keeps on going. Yeah, and the topic changes. You know, the robot programming type of thing is similar, but the missions will change on the playing field, and the research topic changes. So, so next okay. year's does it change? Or is it just the same every year? I mean, I know the subject changes, yeah, the topic yeah. changes, but does oh, the yeah. nature of the competition change? Not really. I mean, some years the missions. You know, you're looking at what your robot is expected to accomplish and thinking. They want us to do what? <laughs> How are we going to do that? Demanding, they put it? these obstacles in front of your robot. And you're like, okay, well, you know, it's a really tight turn, and then you have to kind of go over this thing, and you're supposed to be carrying something that's not going to fall. You know, I mean, they they really do make it challenging. More, more technology. Yeah. More challenging. They have some easy ones, some hard ones, and some that just kind of waste time for the teams that are showing off that they can do everything. Last question. Yeah. Uh, when these kids go, how does it change their lives, if at all? How does it change their that lives? That sounds like a they, great they question young, for a team who went that we could interview. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to do that. We're going to write that down. We're going to do yeah. it. You're going to bring the team or teams in. Yeah. We're going to talk to them. We're going to see their bright eyes yeah. and their focus and, and really going to enjoy that. And it's even relevant to the teams who came to Oahu from neighbor islands. Yeah. I mean, they traveled. They traveled for a competition. They prevailed. They won. They brought back trophies. And knowledge and, you know, the enthusiasm and the confidence. Super kids. I know that's what turns you on about this. It is. It's Building great. Building a generation it's great. of super kids. Thank you so, so much, Maria. Thank you. Thomas. Thanks for having great me day. on the show. That's a funny thing to say. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Got to come back with the kids. Yes. Aloha. Thanks. <laughs>